All right, Shallow Grave. My least favorite map of the entire game. Yep, least favorite. I don't really like this map. So let's, let's go ahead and pick some runes out for it. I said I'd make a video for it, and I will. I normally run the Blood Rune on pretty much every level, but I'm not going to because I hate Shallow Grave. And the chances that just one or two guys or 12 slip through is really, really random. That part of that's my fault because I like to use certain traps. And there are easier traps than what I use to beat this level. Anyway, so I got Scythe, Rust, Fort, Frenzy, Anchor, and Vine. No Blood Rune. No purity because I want to do this. I just want to do this level and get it over with. I really don't like Shallow Grave. In my opinion, Shallow Grave and the Mountain are harder than the last level. And that really probably shouldn't be the case, but it is. Anyway, let's get in the level and try to knock it out. Okay, Shallow Grave. Here we go. Right off the bat, you're going to notice that the entrances are super, super close to the portals. I mean, they're just right there. And you don't get any free barricades on this level, so you had to spend your own money on what's probably a very obvious pattern for the barricades. This makes them take a much longer route, and it sends them by the map hazards. Now I whined about this in the intro part, and that's because wave five is when the dwarves start coming. The dwarves start coming, and this barricade is at super high risk. One dwarf does one point of damage. Level one barricades have three hit points, which means they can soak three dwarves. My barricades cost 445 to put down. That's a good strategy for this level. And oh, good strategy. I'm sorry. Good strategy for this level is I can't talk. I hate this level. <laughs> a good strategy for this level is raising your barricade level because that makes them cheaper. And cheaper barricades don't cost as much to replace. And that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, Shallow Grave is all about barricade management. When the dwarves come and they knock this barricade out, it's your job to hotkey replace it as quickly as possible. Well, that's not true. Not as quickly as possible. You want to watch and make sure the enemies kind of file in there and then you can drop the barricade on them. And sometimes there'll be a few dwarves in there and you can crush them. And that'll be your barricades you have to replace and fewer enemies on the level. So, let me get my strategy started. I'm going to be using Soul Harvester. I will, of course, be using one of my favorite traps, the Spin Blade. Use a Spring Trap to knock them into the spikes here. This Lightning Trap is important because of the higher upgrade level. It's at level 3 and level... It should be level 4, but Lightning Trap's fully upgraded seem to be level 5, I never understand why. The fully upgraded Lightning Trap has the area damage, and warriors come from this entrance, and they'll knock the shields off, so that's why that is there. Put a bolt Trap here. I will, of course, be using a full row of harpoons. And let's, uh, let's start. All right, makes about 2,000 gold to fully upgrade a Soul Harvester. And that means you want to upgrade your Soul Harvester as quickly as possible, so as many enemies die as possible in the area of effect, to pay for it faster. Of course, that also means you have to spend the money to put it down and the gold to upgrade it. It's 2,000 gold from the early game, and that's, that's kind of a pain, but we're gonna be using it. All right, let's go knock it out. I'm gonna go ahead and let them destroy this door because I want them in the Soul Harvester range as soon as possible. Alright, everything's going well so far.
Got to slow this down here for wave five with the horse are coming out. Oh, good. Yeah, you gotta slow it down now. These horses are real fast. I do have the anchor rune on, so upgrading my harpoon traps is important. Because they do pull in more slowly, or it's more difficult to pull in harpoons. So you see here the what's happening is this end blade here is uh, clogging them up, making them group up. And then they walk across and hit the spring trap and are killed from this. See here, the lucky trap is shredding all the shields off the veteran warrior. That's what they want. Ah, oh, one guy got buried. See that? Alright, here come the dwarves. If at all possible, repair a barricade. Take some damage. Only two hits. Oh. Uh, repairing is cheaper than replacement. So try to use that option first. So there, that's pretty much the secret right there, is saving a little bit of extra cash to replace your barricades. So you, if you need a trap set up, that lets you save money also. Got through. Again, this is probably not. Uh, you know, I know it's not the optimal setup. Uh, there are much better setups. But this is one way. Uh, if you want to do this math, get the breeze on. And come back later with more upgraded traps. That is totally legit. This is very hard math. It is. There are easier ways to do it than this. Just, just use the traps I like to use. Uh, so that's why I do it this way. I could break down and use traps by less than a mana of, I can respect my traps and do a lot better. But, yeah, just like to step my way. Yeah, just got a couple of, couple of guys left. Alright, I said I'd make the video and I made the video. Here it is want to do it perfect, you can use barricade sniping like that to get some of the guys that manage to make it around. Alright, well that was uh, Shallow Grave, my least favorite map in the game. Uh, I hope that helps anyone out who's having a little bit of trouble with it, and thanks for watching.